Hi, I'm Joe Rotella, and welcome to my Time Machine. The Time Machine is an 11-inch by 17-inch shadow box that's been created to transport you to any point in time. The exterior is covered with aluminum tape that's been embossed by hand over layers of paper and chipboard to, and distressed to appear like aged metal. The font for the machine, Time Machine, is God of War. Ball chain is also used and embossed under the aluminum tape to provide added dimension. The box appears old, like you'd find it in an old curiosity shop. It's under lock and key with a glass knob to open the machine. As you open the machine, the mechanics come to life, lights begin to flash, and you can hear the time machine whir. You see the gold engineer whose job it is, is to maintain the machine. He climbs a ladder to access necessary parts. The time machine is powered by an electrical box that distributes electricity through copper wires, transformers, resistors, and capacitors. The gold engineer must carefully climb the ladder, squeezing between the mechanics of the machine in order to make repairs. Here he adjusts a small gauge that conducts electricity to the other parts of the machine. The background is collaged bits of ephemera, music, stamped pattern tissue, stamped directly on top of the collage, painted, with small chronometers and flashing lights. Here the chronometer, a dial, made of a wood dowel, sliced and dated, is set to September 21st, 1866, the birth date of H.G. Wells, the author of The Time Machine, and one of his quotes appears surrounding the handle, which in turn drives a chain to drive the sprockets, which makes the pinwheel spin. At the heart of the time machine is a pinwheel. As it spins gracefully, it transports you to the desired point in time set on the chronometer. The time machine is a working machine. By carefully turning the crank, the chain is engaged, which in turn engages two layers of sprockets to make the paper pinwheel spin. The faster you turn the crank, the faster the pinwheel will spin, eventually transporting you in time. The engineer maintains necessary tools and spare parts in a small toolbox, and when he's resting, he has a small chair to sit on with a button as a cushion. Plans for the machine are stored in a small thimble. From the side, you can see the many layers of the machine the substrate or collage, metal embellishments, plastic embellishments, the ladder, the engineer, the girder, small bits of screen, propellers, necessary parts to keep the magical machine working at all times. The engineer must carefully squeeze between the different parts of the machine as necessary in order to keep it functioning. As you close the machine, the mechanism stops, the lights stop flashing, and the machine is at rest. Special thanks to Joe Morgan, who enriches everything I do, Philip Day, the master of power tools, and my crafting friends and family for their encouragement, support, and extra hands. Be sure to like us on Facebook and join our email list to know when we're teaching in your area. This project originally appeared in Somerset Studio Gallery, Summer 2012. Video footage provided by Bora Photography. Thanks for checking out My Time Machine. Happy travels!